This laboratory is designed to demonstrate the effects of drugs acting on the autonomic nervous system. We have a 23 kilogram mixed breed bitch. We have instrumented her with EKG lead, so we're recording lead to EKG. We have put a catheter in the femoral artery with which we were going to be recording arterial blood pressure. And we have a catheter in the cephalic vein that we're going to be using for injecting drugs. We will give a sequence of drugs and describe the effects as they go along and explain the mechanisms behind those drug effects. In general, we will start out giving agonist drugs, um, cholinergic muscarinic agonists and adrenergic agonists. And then one by one, we will give blocking drugs, blocking muscarinic receptor, alpha receptor, and beta receptor to show how each blocking drug changes the responses to our agonists. Keep in mind that these drugs are cumulative, they last several hours after administration, so once we've given a blocker, all the receptors for that blocking drug will be out for the remainder of the laboratory. We have three channels of data shown on our polygraph output. The top channel is a time signal, a second tick mark. Then we have arterial blood pressure and electrocardiogram. And these are normal pre-injection responses. Here we see it at a faster speed. And as, as you all know, we're looking at both systolic and diastolic blood pressure and our standard EKG waveform. Okay, we're now injecting acetylcholine intravenously, followed by a heparinized saline flush. The anticipated effect here is a decrease in diastolic blood pressure because of muscarinic cholinergic vasodilating receptors. One would also anticipate that the heart would slow down because of the, the normal vagal innervation and the muscarinic receptors of the heart, but as you may have noticed right there, the heart rate actually increased because of the baroreceptor response. The baroreceptor receptors detected the drop in blood pressure and that activated the sympathetic innervation to the heart to actually speed the heart rate up to compensate. You may also notice we're getting some EKG abnormalities here. Uh, this dog, because it's a pound dog source, may have heartworms and that sensitizes the heart tissue to some of the different drugs and makes it a little more erratic. You can see that the response to acetylcholine it was fairly short-lived. It probably was on the order of 10 to 20 seconds at most, and we are pretty much back to normal at this point. And now injecting norepinephrine, followed by heparinized saline flush. Norepinephrine acts on alpha receptors. It weakly stimulates beta-1 receptors and does not stimulate beta-2 receptors. As a result, we expect the diastolic blood pressure to increase because of the alpha vasoconstriction. We might also anticipate that the heart rate would go up because of beta-1 effects in the heart. However, again, the baroreceptor response detects the increased blood pressure and reflexly activates the vagal activation of the heart to slow it back down. So the norepinephrine response on heart rate typically is no change or even possibly a slight decrease. The duration of this response is longer than that of acetylcholine, perhaps on the order of about one minute. And again, a heart that's been sensitized by disease may respond to norepinephrine or epinephrine by the generation of ectopic pacemakers, so we may on occasion see EKG or ECG abnormalities. Here the response is at a little bit faster paper speed. And you can see the EKG abnormalities. Looks like we're getting some premature ventricular contractions.
norepinephrine that has been injected is being metabolized by uh, amine oxidases in the bloodstream, in the liver, and elsewhere. And this dog is obviously responding to the norepinephrine with a number of abnormalities. You can see, looking at the blood pressure tracing, you can see double at heart contractions but it looks like the response has now returned pretty much to normal. Epinephrine has strong effects on alpha receptors on beta-1 and beta-2. And we expect both the systolic and the diastolic pressure to increase because both vasoconstriction from alpha receptors and the heart contracting harder from beta-1 receptor activation. The increased blood pressure is probably partially offset by beta-2 vasodilation in the vasculature of the hind limbs. Again, this dog is responding uh, somewhat erratically, be probably because of pre-existing heart disease. The increased blood pressure, as with norepinephrine, activates the baroreceptor reflex. But epinephrine is more potent on beta-1 receptors on the heart than norepinephrine is. So whereas norepinephrine, the effects of norepinephrine to increase heart rate are antagonized by the baroreceptor reflex activation of the vagus, with epinephrine the drug effects typically override the effects of the baroreceptor response and we get an increase in heart rates that we didn't see with norepinephrine. feature you can see here on the blood pressure waveform on the descending pressure pulse that's the dichrotic notch where the valves close. We're now injecting isoproteranol. Isoproteranol is an agonist at beta 1 and beta 2 receptors. As a result, we expect it to stimulate the heart to increase its rate and force of contraction. We also expect it to activate beta-2 vasodilators in the periphery so that the diastolic blood pressure decreases. So you're seeing a decrease in diastolic blood pressure and an increase in heart rate. So those are beta-2 effects and beta-1 effects. And the effect stimulating the heart rate is quite marked in this case. We're now injecting atropine sulfate. Atropine is a blocker of muscarinic cholinergic receptors. It's a long-lasting drug, so its effects will be present for several hours. And the effect of the drug itself may be very limited. The heart in the dog and the horse is normally under vagal dominance, so that the heart rate is normally being slowed. So when we give atropine, we might see a slight decrease in heart rate. But the fact that we've, we've anesthetized this dog with pentobarbital may obscure that response. We do not anticipate any effect on heart rate other than when we expect to see a little bit of, of speed up of the heart rate perhaps, the blood pressure we don't expect to change. There are no tonic muscarinic effects on blood pressure. That's a sympathetic alpha tonic system. We're now re-injecting acetylcholine after having given atropine. 
the atropine should have blocked the great majority of the muscarinic receptors. So the response to acetylcholine should be greatly blunted if not eliminated completely. You recall before we saw a drop in blood pressure and a little bit of a reflex increase in heart rate because of baroreceptor effects. We are not seeing any noticeable decrease in blood pressure in response to acetylcholine. We're now injecting epinephrine in the presence of atropine. Because epinephrine works on alpha and beta receptors and atropine blocks muscarinic receptors, we don't accept to, expect to see much effect except that the vagus action on the heart that's triggered by the baroreceptor reflex is no longer functional because we've block the final stage in that reflex. The release of acetylcholine happens, but the receptors on the heart cannot respond because they're blocked. So again, we're getting an increase in diastolic blood pressure, the whole waveform is shifted up, and we're getting an increase in systolic pressure, the peak to peak pressure is bigger. And our heart rate is a little bit increased. We're now injecting phentolamine, the alpha receptor blocker. Because the sympathetic nervous system maintains a tonic vasoconstriction, an alpha blocker will actually cause a decrease in diastolic blood pressure because we've lost that tonic vascular tone. And you see here that the blood pressure waveform has decreased. This should not be affecting the alpha receptor, excuse me, the beta receptors, we have blocked the alpha receptors. And the muscarinic receptors are still blocked, but they don't play a role here. We're now injecting epinephrine in the presence of the alpha blocker phentolamine. Recall that epinephrine has alpha, beta 1, and beta 2 effects, and we block the alpha receptors. So the blood pressure doesn't increase, and in fact, we are now seeing a decrease in blood pressure because of the beta 2 vasodilation in the blood vessels of the hind limbs. This is known as epinephrine reversal. Instead of giving an increase in blood pressure, after an alpha blocker, epinephrine gives us a decrease in blood pressure. Notice that the heart rate is also greatly increased because we are acting on the beta-1 receptors of the heart. In addition, the baroreceptor response has detected the low blood pressure and has activated sympathetic afferents to the heart to release norepinephrine to speed the heart up in addition to our drug injection. Now we are re-injecting isoproterenol, the beta agonist. We block the alpha receptors, but the beta receptors are intact. So we would inspect the decrease in blood pressure from beta 2 effects, and we expect to increase the heart rate from beta 1 effects.
We now inject propranolol, a beta receptor blocking drug. By itself, we are unlikely to see any responses to the blocking drug because there is no tonic beta agonist system in place except perhaps uh, a little bit of increased sympathetic tone simply because of the various drugs we've injected so far. Finally, we are re-injecting isoproteranol. The beta blocker propranolol is still exerting its effect. At this point, there should not be a response to the isoproteranol because we have blocked the beta receptors and isoproteranol is a pure beta agonist. So at this point, the dog is functioning on autopilot. We block the alpha receptors, the beta receptors, and the muscarinic receptors. And although the nicotinic receptors of the ganglia are still intact, it's not possible for them to activate either sympathetic or parasympathetic function because the final synapse, either muscarinic, alpha, or beta, has been blocked by either atropine, the alpha blocker, phentolamine, or the beta blocker, propranolol.